The question I'm trying to answer today is, as a motorcycle rider going all the way back into the 1970s, uh, and ridden many, many different motorcycles and owned several different motorcycles, I'm going to ride a three-wheeler today, a Can-Am Spider RT with a manual transmission. Uh, what's that going to be like? Will I like it? Will I not like it? Only one way to find out, right? Let's go and do it. Today we're here at Seminole Power Sports North, home of such things as the Honda, the Suzuki, the Kawasaki, the Yamaha, the Ski-Doo, and the Can-Am. And today we're going to look at the Can-Am. And while we're looking at the Can-Ams, I'd just like to give you a brief tour of the inside of the dealership here. They have a great array of, of motorcycles of all different varieties. And currently now we're looking at the Can-Am. And you can see we saw some up front and there's more inside here under the showroom. It conditioned showroom, which is very comfortable. Um, so we'll be riding one of the ones that you saw up front a little later on, a couple of minutes. And uh, here's uh, the Riker here on the left. That's another little bike that just came out, a little three-wheeler that's a little less expensive than the regular Can-Am Spider, and we'll be doing a video on that. Also, they have Hondas, and look at this. I love the tanks on the Honda. They look absolutely awesome, the orange. And they do Honda Goldwings, too. Kawasaki, Ninja, lots of Kawasaki motorcycles of different shapes and sizes are there. Kawasaki is a very popular motorcycle. And of course, the one I ride happens to be a Yamaha FJ09. And here is the Yamaha display. I always check out this display when I'm in the store. They always have something really interesting over here. And Yamaha has been a very popular bike, both large, small, and all kinds of shapes and sizes in here to look at. And of course, if you have a bike, you might need parts or service. They have a great service department. They have a great parts department. Loads of helmets, great array of helmets to pick from. Also, Suzuki, also very popular. I love this blue and white bike right there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Many, many Suzukis from regular bikes to scooters and everything else. So anyway, and the last one, by the way, is the real Can-Am four-wheeler, ATVs and utility vehicles, which are very popular with some people. But we're going to ride a Can-Am this morning, so let's uh, go over and talk with Brandon. We're in uh, Eustace today looking at Can-Am Spiders and Can-Am RTs and everything else. And Brandon is going to be a, my guide here on these, um, on this particular model. So Brandon, what do we got here? So this is a 2019 RT Limited, the chrome package. And we're going to go through the dash and show everything that you can do, whether it's with the radio or with Bluetooth or anything else that you have a uh, desire to play with. Right. So right here, oh, it's gone now, but there was actually a Bluetooth waiting signal. You use the joystick to handle everything in this model. Uh, you have launch stat, and if you want to go up, you can connect the helmet and Bluetooth. This model right here actually offers you to connect your phone to the bike to where you can pull up most of your data from there and also GPS phone calls and then it actually goes through the helmet to where you can talk on it. If you go down music you have FM, AM, Bluetooth, you can do auxiliary. Beautiful. And as you're riding you can actually just go through the channels just by holding the analog stick over and it'll yep. set. You can also have up to... Speakers are in the front and they look like they're back here too. So you have four speakers up front and two speakers or four speakers in the back as well. Wow. So they upgraded the Very stereo nice. system yep. from 2018. All right. And as you're riding, this is all, obviously you don't want to take your eyes off the road, but it is all done by joystick, so it's very easy to learn the controls and know what to do, so you don't even have to look down. Perfect. You also have settings to where you can adjust the clock. Uh, again, you can Bluetooth a helmet, a passenger's helmet, and a phone to it. Okay. You can change, you actually have your fault codes here if in the event anything were to go wrong. Heated hand grips, high, low, and of course off is in the middle. You can adjust the windshield by a press of a button and put, bring it all the way up or down. 
three headlights. It does have reverse on it. And this is also the electronic shift model to where all you have to do is upshift and it'll actually downshift on its own through the braking process. All right. Cruise control. Here, cruise control. Cruise control. Cruise control, of course, the ignition and uh, your four ways. Perfect. Brandon, how about the uh, gas tank? Uh, how does that work? So you got about a 6.9. 6.9? .9. Yes. Oh, uh, good. Capacity. Yep. Uh, depending on how heavy you get on the throttle, you can get about 40 miles to the gallon. Oh, great. And then it is actually going to be right under the seat uh -huh. on this side. On that side. Let me take it around. Take it around. Look around. All right. Oh, okay. Easy enough. Yes. And All you right. can actually do an accessory to where if wanted, you can have a door put here to where you actually don't have to lift the seat up. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Very cool. And this, I take it, is a spot to put a um, backrest. backrest for somebody that uh, older guy might have trouble with his back. He yes. wants something to rest his back. Exactly. Perfect. And that's, of course, for your passenger. And you do offer right. pretty good lumbar support right here. Of yeah. That's a pretty good size. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you do have heated handrails back here for the passenger that are Heated handrails for the passenger. Oh, controlled nice. Controlled right here. Yeah. Obviously, these are heated. Yes, sir. So here is the bike that I'm riding today. It's a six-speed manual transmission. Can-Am Spider RT with 115 horsepower, stability control, traction control, and anti-lock brakes, Brembo brakes. Uh, very stable bike to ride, very hard to tip over. I really like that. 6.9 gallons. The gas tank will hold and get you around 40 miles to the gallon. Adjustable windscreen with a simple push of a button. You can store your helmet in the front compartment of the bike. Motorcycle license, I believe, is required, but you can check with Seminole Power Motorsports for classes in the area, and they'll help you out a lot on that. So a six-speed manual training. I've never ridden one before. Let's take this beauty up for a ride and see how it goes. Thank you, Brandon. Have some fun. All right. So I got to take the parking brake off first. Yep, so go ahead and put your foot on the brake. Oh, yeah, put my foot on the brake. Take that off. Yeah. Let me go ahead and shift in first. Uh, okay, and we're ready to go. All right. All right, here we go, folks. We're trying out a Can-Am. And this is, by the way, this is not an automatic. This is a, for those that like to shift, this is a uh, standard shift. So we'll have some fun with this. We're going to take a right out here. And we'll go right out here. Oh, it shifts nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Nice shifter. Very easy to drive. Very comfortable. The seat. Uh, I really like the seat. The seat's very, very good. But uh, we're taking a little back road here and taking a look around and see what we can see. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And uh, the steering, I think, is one you got to get used to uh, from riding a motorcycle. It's a little bit different. But that being the fact, it's pretty easy to learn. Light hands on the uh, light hands on the handlebars don't grip put a death grip on them and, and it rides smooth as silk no problemo downshift no problem can we go into first yes we can no problem all right first second third piece of cake Runs beautiful. Got some traffic up here, so we'll uh, slow down a bit. I can't get over. The upshifts and downshifts are very uh, easy to do. And uh, the, bike, the bike does everything exactly the way you want it to do it. It's pretty cool. Good brakes. Very good brakes. I believe, I'm pretty sure that this will outbreak a motorcycle. So it's got three wheels. It should. But uh, one control for the brakes, one centralized control on your right foot. So basically your right foot is the brake, right hand is the gas, left hand is the clutch, and left foot is the shifter. Oop, got a nice bump there. 
took it well, no problem. <laughs> it's too funny, I'm still reaching for the front brake. I'll get, I'll get over that. <laughs> I do both at the same time. I'm doing the foot brake and the, uh, and the uh, front brake in this, because one brake does all, so. <laughs> Fifty-four. That didn't take long. Yeah, it was really quick. It jumps right up there. It has plenty of plenty of sack. You're not going to be. You won't be holding up traffic in this baby. No, not not whatsoever. I mean, she just glides along nice. Yep, very easy to steer. Nothing to it, really. Nothing to it. I'm just, I got light hands. I have light hands on the steering bars, on the handle grips, and I swear the lighter you get, the better it is. So, what the heck? Keep them light. She goes nice, straight, and true. It's just simple. Simple. And it's really nice because it's relaxing because you're not, you know, you don't have a death grip on the uh, on the bars. You just have a light, light grip. That's all you need is a light grip, and it carries you along beautifully. I could I could see going on a long trip on this bike, packing everything in here and taking off somewhere far, far away. Okay, now for the ride back. to it all the way to six gear and I'm sure we're getting pretty doggone good mileage yep you got to get used to the bars light light hands on the bars and uh, you know because if you start squeezing a little bit it, it'll start to twitch a little bit but you don't have to do that just keep your hands light and I would say pull them a little bit towards you and if you keep them light and just have a little bit of pressure towards you uh, things seem to go really really good on the bike I mean it really is perfect so let's take a look here we're coming up on a uh, on a left hand turn here we're going to take it 10 miles an hour faster than you're supposed to but I mean, it, it just a little pull back, little pull back, pull a little bit on the left hand bar, a little bit on the left hand bar, that's it. And she tracks beautiful, no problem. Yep, so lean back a little bit, enjoy the day, enjoy the view, and uh, enjoy this beautiful riding. I mean, really, really nice riding Can Am. And uh, I, I think it's a combination of the, the uh, tires and the suspension and the way the geometry is in the car. It just in the weight distribution and everything. It's, they've got a, they've hit a really nice happy spot on the bike, which makes it very very comfortable to drive. And the other thing I like is I don't have a back support for my backpack here, but I do have support that goes right up to my belt line. And maybe a little, uh, let me see, above it, actually, above my belt line. And so by leaning against that, it's very, very comfortable. I mean, it's really, really nice. It's very, very good comfort. So, my goodness gracious, how nice is this? I kind of like, you know something, I kind of like the standard shift uh, over maybe an automatic. Um, I, I really, if somebody said, you can have a brand new Can-Am, do you want an automatic or a standard shift? Uh, I'd have to, 
think about that. Uh, either one would work for me. I mean, I could live with an automatic. I could live with a uh, standard shift. I really, I like the way the standard shift uh, reacts here. I think it's really slick. I mean, it shifts so much better than my motorcycle, up and down. And uh, this really shifts nice. I keep wanting to put my foot out. <laughs> I want to put my foot down. No, you don't have to put your foot down. That takes a little getting used to. <laughs> Do I want to put my foot down? No. <laughs> but you might fall over. No, you're not going to fall over either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Too funny. Nice and smooth. Very easy to shift, very easy to shift. You're thinking, I'm, ah, I don't want to get one of those manual transmissions because it's clunky and bitchy and the, uh, the thing. Ah, guess what? You would, whoop, you would be very, very happy with this manual transmission. And I've never ridden one. It's the first time I've ridden one with a manual transmission. And I want to tell you, I'm damn well impressed not only upshifting but downshifting is very smooth very nice clutch very nice transmission uh, three thumbs up to can m wow i mean two isn't two isn't fair and three maybe four thumbs up to, to can m <laughs> they got it right they get it really really right so good for them very very nice i, I like the little clunk on it when you shift it um, because you know you've made the shift there's a, there's a uh, audible you know when you hear the click you know if it went from fourth to third click third to second click you're down in the first so you know well you can look down at the at the dash there and it says that I'm in first gear so but I mean uh, but my god look at the temperature 97 I'm taking one for the crew here <laughs> uh, it's really it's um, it's a great bike and this is the newest model I think I've ridden and man oh man I know why they sell a lot of these we'll get on the highway just for a spec here and uh, go back into the dealership nice no problem we'll go in this way Seminole power sports north many thanks to the good folks here at Seminole power sports north setting me up to demo ride this beautiful can am which I'm very very impressed with <laughs> 